Hello everyone, in this video we'll see how Nintendo handheld consoles have evolved over time. From the Game & Watch in 1980, the Game Boy series, the Nintendo DS series, to the Nintendo Switch. We will see what functions the first consoles had and how they added new functions over time. Game & Watch is a series of portable electronic games produced and marketed by Nintendo in the period of 1980 to 1991, being the first Nintendo products that had a major success. This series had about 60 video games available and among the best known are Mickey Mouse, Balloon Fight, The Legend of Zelda, Mario Brothers, and Donkey Kong. Another successful series launched by Nintendo was the Game Boy series, being sold in over 200 million units worldwide. Game Boy Original was released in 1989 and was very successful due to the Tetris game. The console had an LCD screen, an 8-way directional pad, two action buttons A and B, and start and select buttons. In 1996, Nintendo released a smaller and lighter version of the original Game Boy called the Game Boy Pocket. It had a black and white screen, operated by two AAA batteries, compared to its predecessor which had four AA batteries. Later, due to the very high demand, an LED was added to indicate the battery level. In 1998, Nintendo released an improved version of the Game Boy Pocket, the Game Boy Light, which was only available in Japan. The differences between these two models are that the new model works with two AA batteries that have a range of about 20 hours and has a backlit screen that can be turned on or off. Also in 1998, the Game Boy Color model was launched, which was slightly larger than the Game Boy Pocket. As the name suggests, this model had a color screen that could display 56 colors simultaneously. It also has much more powerful hardware compared to previous models, it has an infrared wireless uplink port and a varied game library. Game Boy Advance was launched in 2001 and was a major change in the Game Boy line. It had a 32-bit processor, a higher resolution screen, but no backlight, and two shoulder buttons L and R. Pokemon Mini was launched in 2001 and is the smallest portable game console with interchangeable cartridges. It has an internal clock, an infrared port for multiplayer games, and a force feedback engine. Game Boy Advance SP was launched in 2003 and came as an improvement on the Game Boy Advance. It was similar and had a flip-up screen, a switchable internal front light, and a rechargeable battery. Subsequently, in 2005, the AGS-101 Game Boy Advanced SP was launched, which this time had a backlit screen. In 2004, Nintendo launched the DS console, with clamshell and dual-screen design and the lower screen being a touchscreen. It was also the first handheld that had a main menu, had wireless connectivity, and a built-in microphone. An interesting thing is that Nintendo DS offers the possibility of DS consoles to interact directly with each other without the need for a wireless network. The latest model in the Game Boy series is the Game Boy Micro, released in 2005. It is the smallest model in this series and can play all the games available on the Game Boy Advance. It has a backlit screen and the ability to adjust the brightness, has its own unique charger and comes with two additional faceplates which can be swapped. An improved version of the Nintendo DS is the Lite model, which had a more elegant design and is thinner, has a longer battery life, and brighter screens. Nintendo DSi comes with new features such as two inner and outer 0.3 megapixel digital cameras, has a larger screen, internal and external storage, and the ability to connect to the Nintendo DSi store. As the name of this console tells us, the Nintendo DSi XL was created with bigger features. It is larger in size, has larger screens, and longer battery life. Nintendo 3DS was launched in 2011 and can display 3D effects, being compatible with older video games through the virtual console function. The console also has augmented reality, offers an internet browser, video streaming services, and even a messaging application. In 2012, Nintendo announced the 3DS XL model, which is obviously larger, having a screen about 90% larger than the previous model. The following year, Nintendo launched an entry-level handheld console, the Nintendo 2DS. This model is slate-shaped, has no internal stereo speakers, and the battery life is quite poor. Given these things, Nintendo 2DS received a lot of criticism, and Nintendo claimed that this console is intended more for children. 
In 2014, Nintendo launched the new Nintendo 3DS and the new Nintendo 3DS XL, which are larger than the original models, have an improved processor, tracking for improved 3D viewing angles, ZL and ZR shoulder buttons, and a new C-Stick, microSD storage, and larger batteries. The new Nintendo 2DS XL was launched in 2017, being also a larger version than the original model. Also in 2017, Nintendo launched the Nintendo Switch, a hybrid console that can be used both as a home console and as a portable device. Wireless controllers can be attached to both sides of the console to support handheld style play. It can also be connected to a clamping system to become a traditional home console gamepad, or it can be used individually in the hand. The console has online games through internet connectivity, but is also possible to connect directly via wireless with other consoles. The games are also available on both ROM and digital cartridges via the Nintendo eShop. Nintendo Switch Lite is specially designed for portable gaming so you can play your favorite games anywhere. Unlike its bigger brother, the Nintendo Switch Lite comes with integrated Joy-Cons and is smaller, having 5.5 inches compared to 6.2 inches. Also, the Nintendo Switch Lite portable console provides games that can be found on the classic Nintendo Switch version that works in portable mode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. See you in the next video.